Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of July 2022. I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, I'm going to take a quick second like I normally do just to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you find that it's not resonating with you, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate better. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. Um, so if you find yourself resonating more with the energy that's on the other side, just go with that um, as long as it is resonating. Speaking of resonating, not everything in the reading is going to resonate because it's literally for uh, a lot of people. And so therefore, um, it won't all resonate. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. All right, so let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Pisces? Pisces. All right, Pisces, you are starting out with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You have the Six of Pentacles, and you have Judgment. So, Pisces, I feel like you're kind of moving past a very painful ending. This ending could have been very quick. It's like everything just kind of faded to dust very quickly. Um, you may have felt... Kind of defenseless in trying to deal with this situation there may have been anger surprise shock um, but i feel like you're kind of moving past that um, some of you are looking for there to be a reconciliation in this situation um, but you're unsure and i feel like you you think about it but you just don't know and it kind of plagues you as it were um, you know, it, it's a, it's one of those things that you just can't set it down. You'll, it, it comes in at various times. You might be driving somewhere and you have a moment of silence and there it is. Or you go to, you know, you go to get out of the shower and you have a moment of silence. It, it's in those spaces between the spaces, um, is what I like to call it. So... It's constantly there, but sometimes it it's heavier than others. This thought of whether or not you should reconcile or bring this back together. Now, part of this is because we have the Six of Pentacles here. You want things to be an even give and take, um, but you may feel this person is spreading themselves a little thin. Um, there could be third-party energy. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it could be a person. It might be, but it could also be that this person is a workaholic or they give themselves to other situations. It could be, you know, um, friends or, you know, whatever. So, I feel like that's maybe um, what led us to this situation and or that's what plays on your mind. I also feel like you are feeling that you're pulled in a lot of different directions right now. And that that is uh it's bothersome for you sometimes. Let's um let's see who's in your energy. All right, we have the moon, sign of Cancer. We have the King of Cups, Water Sign Energy. So Cancer would be very strong. Um, we also have Scorpio and Pisces, such as yourself. Or it could be that they're very focused on you. Um, we also have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so the person that's in your energy, I really feel like this is more them their focus on you, to be honest with you. Now, and I just heard, you are my world. That's interesting. You are my world. And the reason is because you fill them up in a way, Pisces, that no one else does. So when you're there, they are blind to others. But you don't see that. You see, you see that they, you feel that they notice others. But they literally are blind to others 
when you are there is what I'm seeing. That's interesting. Um, okay, so I digress. All right, so with the moon, your person may be experiencing some confusion um, with regard to the ending and, you know, what to do. They may be looking for a sign um, as far as how to move past this ending as well. Um, I see your energy is sort of moving past it. Time and um, cycles has something to do with their energy here. And I do feel like they're kind of looking for a sign. Um, there is a lot of love this person holds for you and they are very focused on you. The, um, the energy here though is also of loss. There's a feeling that their stability has been lost. Some of them are experiencing some financial loss as well. And I, but a lot of it has to do with stability um, and community. There's a feeling like um, the, oh wow. Um, I just heard I lost my light. Wow, this person really does put you on a pedestal. So they, um, they feel that they've lost um, their stability, they've lost their community in a sense, and I feel like they, um, a lot of them may have had some financial loss here too. So let's, um, let's see the energy between the two of you. All right, so we have the four of wands in the reverse. There's the breakup. So it's an ending of a marriage or a um, committed connection. That's the breakup. It's in your energy very strong. They're a bit confused about it. I think they're looking for a sign. They don't know what to do. Um, you're starting to move past it to get over it. Um, I do feel like they've went through some dark days. Let's see what is... Neither of you happy about it. Let's see what's directly affecting the connection. Yeah, someone walked away. Eight of Cups. Someone walked away from the connection. One or both of you walked away from this connection in order to find their own fulfillment. Let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, so you may, um, there, there may be a little bit of a pullback at the end of the week. Um, if so, I don't feel like either of you will be happy about that. Um, you might not be talking. We'll clarify that just to be sure. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords reversed. Now, this is underlying energy, Pisces. What this tells me is that there likely is not communication right now. And if there is, there's a lot of vagueness. There's a lot of uh, lack of clarity um, you may feel or they may feel that there's a lack of truth so what there is not is clear concise truthful communication so that's the underlying energy here so let's clarify why is the ten of swords in reverse yeah neither of you have a lack uh, or have clarity We have the Four of Cups. And we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're moving past this ending, but you may feel that this has been a missed opportunity. That, um, you know, this is a beautiful thing that could have been lost. And I do feel you you feel very upset about this. You, you have spent some sleepless nights over this. You've cried some tears. There's been some anxiety and tears. Yeah, definitely, because you don't want this to be a missed opportunity. Um, I do have to say, though, you're kind of looking at the negatives, so be aware of that, um, Pisces. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is this? Okay. 
Right, we have temperance in reverse, sign of Sagittarius, and we have the nine of pentacles. All right, so I see you being single here. That's because there's been a, a divorce or a breakup. So single and abundant, um, feeling kind of pulled in a lot of different directions. Knowing that that's causing a bit of imbalance, though, emotionally, that you're not completely emotionally balanced, and you're trying to heal. Um, there's a lot of healing that's going on. I do feel that uh, you kind of have a glow up, though, and people are noticing you, Pisces. You are in connection with spirit. Um, yeah, a, a very single healing energy that I'm seeing right now. But it's a glow up and people people are noticing you. Let's see uh, why is judgment here, Spirit? Yeah. <laughs> Four of Wands in the upright. Repeating card, but this time in the upright. And <laughs> Seven of Cups. So you're confused. You're confused about whether or not to to bring this connection back together. You know, you do want to. It is an option for you, apparently, um, but you're not sure if it's a good option. So this is why in those moments, um, between moments, that you feel some kind of way. You feel like it just kind of crashes in on you. It's a heaviness. So you're confused about whether or not to bring this back together. Let's look at their energy. Why is the moon here? I feel like they're, they're lacking in clarity as well. And they're looking for a sign. Yeah, they have judgment as well. So you both are. Um, they're looking for a sign too. You're doing the same thing. You're mirroring each other here. Um, the world in reverse. They are holding on to this connection. This is not a cycle that's over. Remember I told you there was something about cycles with this. So this cycle is not over for them. They're, they're looking for a sign about whether or not they should also pursue a reconciliation. So let's see why the King of Cups is here. Ace of Swords. Now, underlying energy, it's in the reverse. And the Page of Cups in the reverse. They want to talk to you. They want to come forward. They want to talk to you. Um, I think that they're, they're clear that other people are noticing you. And, but there's something here about them holding back. Holding back their emotions. They, it's a little bit of immaturity that they have. But the good thing is, is that that's, that's actually, it's actually um, clarifying the King of Cups. So predominantly, the way that they love you is in a mature way. It's a very strong, um, mature vibration. But sometimes they, they react in an immature manner. It's more of a reaction. So I feel like they're... They're not going to come forward with that. Um, they, they're going to kind of sit on this these feelings. They want to talk to you, though, but I feel like they're not coming forward till they get clarity. Once they have full clarity, then maybe they can come forward. But that's what's holding them back. Um, let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. And they're, they're waiting for a sign. I feel like from spirit. All right, we have the Empress in reverse and the Devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We also have Libra and Taurus. Um, but yeah, they're feeling lost. They feel like there's something, they, they have this very, very strong, strong attraction to you, but they. Um, but they're feeling empty. They're feeling loss, a loss. They're feeling emptiness. They're feeling, some of them, like I said, are having financial problems. There's a feeling like um, 
like it, what what was abundant and you know like everything was going well they had the world at their fingertips has with the ending of this connection like all of that kind of drained away oh sorry and they feel like it was because of something that was toxic as well um and I, I feel like they're in such a deep state of loss so they're not able to bring forward emotion until they have clarity about why you walked away or they walked away i feel like you may have walked away pisces let's look at this let's see why is the four of wands here in reverse they may be saying that they feel that you're toxic now i'm not saying you are i'm just saying that it looks like they're saying this loss was caused because you have a lack of self-esteem and that that's toxic. All right, we have the Ace of Wands and we have the Tower in reverse. Yeah, they want to bring it back together. They, they really do. They wanna build something with you and they want to build it with a strong foundation. And Pisces, um, <laughs> I feel like you have sex on the mind. Um, Ace of Wands is a very phallic symbol, so some of you have sex on the mind. You, you're missing the physical connection with this person, so um, you do want to you do want to build it back. You want a new beginning, but yet you're holding back on that, choosing to be single here, and neither of you know yet if this is what you want to do. You're both kind of worried about it. Um, it's on both of your minds though. A new beginning. Both of you are thinking about it. So let's see why the Eight of Cups is here. All right, so we have the Three of Swords reversed and we have the Three of Cups reversed. It looks like there was probably some third party energy here. If there was, it looks like that has ended. Um, because they're both in reverse. So I, I see you doing a lot of healing. Definitely a lot of healing is taking place. Um, Pisces, you had a broken heart and you're still a bit imbalanced. You're still healing, but you've done a lot of healing. The person you're connected with, they're very unhappy. And part of the unhappiness is, is because they lack clarity about you know I feel like you walked away and they lack clarity as to why um, I don't feel like they are very happy right now and I feel like uh, a lot of them are not really going out I, I feel like they're not going out they're not um, they're not uh, dating or partying or doing any of that so let's see your outcome. And the reason would be because of their emotions for you. Okay, so we have the three of coins. We have the wheel of fortune reversed. And we have the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, your, your time, the timing is off. Um, so in your outcome, the Knight of Wands is in reverse. Now this tells me that the two of you are either not speaking by the end of the week or there's something that's not being discussed, right? And I feel like neither party's happy about that. So the reason is, is because things are stuck between the two of you. Why are they stuck? Well, because your person lacks clarity and is waiting for a sign. You're stressing. Both of you are waiting to, to try to figure out, are we going to try to bring this back together? You want to. You have the three of coins. This tells me that you want to, but it has to be with a strong foundation and it has to be with a contract, a set of rules. It's not going to just be, you know, um, with this energy of in and out, in and out, in and out. You're not going to have that. 
So you want things to be in a, in a way that it can be built upon. They have the high priestess in reverse. Now this tells me a couple things. One, they're not, they're not really um, listening to their intuition. So they're out of touch with their intuition. And it also tells me that there's, a, there's something that they um, have either found out that they thought was secretive because remember, they want the truth here. <laughs> and it has to do with you being single and why you walked away. So, something that they're not being told. Or it, it's a truth that is going to come out that they haven't been telling. Something here, though, that either they need to find out or that it, they're going to reveal. But the time is not right for this yet to come together. It, there's things that are not being said between the two of you and the energy is just, um, it's inconsistent at this time. It's stuck, you guys are stuck, not really knowing where you want to go with this. All right, bottom of the deck. And by the way, this person sees themselves as being your perfect mate. Um, and they do see themselves as being a little bit angelic, by the way. That's, uh, <laughs> that's another thing. Which makes me kind of laugh because they don't seem to be angelic. I'm just saying. All right. Um, oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. Now, this is you, Pisces, in your full glory. Um, strong water sign energy and so you also see yourself as being the perfect mate to this person and I feel like you're being very perceptive you're also being very choosy the Queen of Cups is very psychic is very perceptive and so you're you're highly perceptive right now this week you're also very likely to be extremely picky about where you give your emotions in all things so I think you're kind of pulled back you're reserved and you're being very careful about where you're giving your emotions all right I'm gonna pull some Oracle cards and we'll see if there's any last bits of information that spirit wants to give you so for you Pisces we have owl there you go follow your intuition follow your intuition see I told you you're very intuitive right now so follow your intuition and for your person go with the flow and let things happen this person might be trying to control the outcome so Cross watcher, go with the flow. Just let things happen here. And for, <laughs> for the connection, we have cheer up, live in the moment. So both of you experiencing some sadness here. So Spirit is saying cheer up, you know, go with the flow, live in the moment. And, you know, by all means, Pisces, follow your intuition. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. It helps with the algorithm on YouTube, and I would appreciate that. Also, if this has resonated with you, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to drop a comment, feel free to do so. I do read all of them. Until I see you in the monthly readings, namaste.